Yeah, I think um, looking at most of the squads, like I said, there has been a, a real big turnover, and um, like I say, you, you do usually get the, the three or four, or maybe even two or three signings per team. But yeah, like I said, this year everyone's probably signing like six, seven, eight players. So yeah, I think it, I think it'll be good for the game. Um, obviously, some of the what what probably classed as lesser teams have made some some probably high profile signings. You'd, you'd probably say so. I think it's going to be a real competitive season. You know, from from one to 14 and you know, I'm sure there'll be, there'll be a few shocks uh, along the way yeah, yeah. difficult to predict how some games are going to go now as a consequence of it whereas perhaps in the past some people have felt they can go to a game and know who's going to win yeah like I, I totally agree with that one I think like you say you know there's probably some teams where you you'd probably look and say well that's two points for them and that's two points for them but yeah with the, with the turnover in sides no, uh, sorry in players it's that it's probably is going to be one of them I'm, I'm not sure about that result I'm not sure about that result so yes yeah, I think it'll make for a, for a real good 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 year is there anybody that sort of has stood out over the pre-season for making signings that you kind of think they could be a dark horse this time around uh, I think everyone's kind of pointed out the obvious with, with Salford I think that you know the squad they've assembled is, has been a you know it's, it's been a revelation really yeah, but, yeah. but yeah I think um, obviously Salford will, will probably be looking to to go pretty well and you know I think Hull have, have made a lot of signings I think they could be you know I, I know they've pushed on the, the last couple of years anyway with yeah. with their appearance in the Challenge Cup as well I think but yeah I think the you know I think they're going to be one of the, the sides to look out for and I think I think if, if you know if Cass can keep everyone fit and the, I think they could be be a strong side especially at home you know they, they've always been a, a good home side anyway but I think they can they'll, they'll really pick up again this year and they probably look to take some of that form you know to away games as well yeah yeah first up though is Saints and they've made uh, they've made some high profile signings as well Steph um, but thankfully you're not going to have to face Mozzie Masu first game is yeah he, he, uh, <laughs> well you know some more were knocking around at, at our training base in the World Cup and yeah he's a um, he's a big man to, to <laughs> say the least but yeah they've they've made some good signings especially in the forward you know the I think they're they're looking to to kind of dominate you know forwards wise this year and you know some of the players that they've signed are, are real good signings so it'll be be interesting to see how they go you know they've, they've got a couple of half backs on you know it'll be playing on the back of, of a big forward pack and yeah they, I'm sure they'll be you know after the last couple of years with, with not winning any trophies I'm sure they'll be looking to to get back to their winning ways this year yeah yeah and your first away trip will be Leeds they're one of the few who have not made quite as many signings they don't seem to make many changes any any particular year Leeds no Leeds are, are one of the clubs where you know they, they only make one or two signings anyway and they, they tend to be good signings and you know you look at the players that they have signed the you know the real good players. Paul Ayton was, you know, last year was one of the probably one of the standout standout players in in Super League, and you know, no disrespect to Wakefield, but he was playing at, at one of the the lower clubs. So I think he's a real good signing. Obviously, you know, we've all seen what what Tom Briscoe can do and and what a good winger he is. So yeah, I think, like I said, it you don't tend to make many signings anyway, but you know, the signings they have made are, are real quality, and I'm sure it's only gonna you know strengthen them up.